Hey everybody, welcome back to Brandon's Ballistics. I'm your host, Brandon Barker, and today, well, I'm a little bit late. This video really should came out on Monday, but it wasn't ready. So now it's coming out today on Tuesday, um, which normally you would have a full week to be able to enter into giveaway because today's the video I'm showing what I'm giving away for my subscribers. Uh, this is the, the subscriber one, not the members only, so anyone can enter this giveaway. Uh, the rules are simple. Uh, you have to be subscribed. First and foremost, you know, you got, you know, and I do check all these things, or to the best of my abilities anyway. Uh, every video this month has a code word. So, in, in, in has been a code word that is in this month, not a previous month. So, I also got to check. So, if you use an incorrect code word or don't spell it right, you're disqualified. Since, you know, as other people's kind of mentioned, if everybody else is following the rules strictly and somebody, you know, messes up, it's not fair for them to then be eligible for the giveaway. So, uh, not only am I checking for spelling, uh, checking to make sure the code words are correct and not an old code word, uh, make sure, you know, people always know that you got to like, comment, and share all my videos for this month. You can share it on Facebook, uh, text messages, or whatever. Uh, that one's going to be Scout's Honor that you're sharing. Uh, I can kind of check uh, with, the, with the social media sites, but some people don't use social media, and I'm not going to force somebody to do that. So I, I can really only check uh, like ratios to be able to see if that makes sense, somebody didn't like, and then comments is really a check, and subscribers really a check. And that is something I do check to make sure everybody does. So on top of commenting, liking, scouts honor, sharing, Every video for this month, you have to put at least six code words in the description of this video. Like today's code word is going to be smart. Uh, so now you only need five more code words. So right now, smart, there's your one. Uh, watch yesterday's video, it's got one in there. You watch tomorrow's video, it's got one in there. You watch Friday videos, we one in there. So, uh, you know, that's already Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. There's you already four code words. So now, all you need is two more. Just go back to any other two ones. And there's your six code words you need to enter the giveaway, as long as you also like, comment, share, subscribe. So doing that gets you into the giveaway. Now, if you want to enter the giveaway and not have to worry about messing something up, using old code words, spelling it wrong, uh, missing, leaving a comment, like, sharing, or whatever, if you don't want a chance on being, being disqualified, you can become a member of the channel at the highest level, a $25 level a month. And that gets you automatically on top of all the other cool perks. You know, check out all the awesome people supporting the channel. At the, at the end of every video, their name is on uh, on the video. And actually, uh, something I forgot to do in the last video, uh, or I guess tomorrow's video. Uh, I'm filming these both. I filmed them both today. But I didn't name off the awesome, awesome people supporting this channel. So that is Zach Taylor, Stephen Nelson, Marshall King, Kevin Purvis, Chris Armstrong, uh... Oh, crap. Brian, uh, he's my neighbor. <laughs> I forget his name. Oh, crap. Brian Elkins. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. Um, my ADD kicked in, and I totally forgot. And, yeah, at first I spelled his name wrong. I'm used to, you know, Brian with an I. His is Brian with a Y. Uh, so, once again, sorry about that. I've uh, since corrected that. And now the newest member is as uh, Michael Stan. So, uh, all of them, uh, all of those except for Kevin Purvis are the highest level members. They are automatically entered. And then there's an ant on my camera. And then the uh, with Kevin Purvis, he is the mid level. And while that doesn't get him automatically entered into our giveaways, I do do an additional giveaway. If you watch tomorrow's video, there's a members only giveaway. So they can technically win this giveaway and then win that giveaway. So they get. And technically win two different prizes, and that's happened, I think, for the last two giveaways in a row. That somebody won uh, not only one of the prizes here, but also won, you know, the Utreon one. So they got two different prizes shipped to them. So, two, and maybe that in the last three times. So, you know, for $25 to guarantee that you're entered, it's a pretty small price to pay, really, because you're definitely getting way more value when you win, even if you only won this, uh, the level, you know, the, the smallest level, the third level prize, you're still getting more stuff than $25 worth. Uh, if you go at the $10 one, you still have to do the, you know, like, comment, share, subscribe, and, 
and then you still got to do the code words on the subscriber one. So you still got to do code words there and you still, and then you got to do an additional five code words on to tomorrow's video, the one we're talking about members only, uh, do five additional code words. They could be the same. You know, I'm, I'm not going to you know, be an a-hole and say they have to be different. I prefer them different, but uh, you know, I ain't, ain't going to be an a-hole. They could be the same. Uh, you just got to remember to put them in there. Uh, of course, like, comment, share, subscribe. And then that gets you into that members only. If you're a paid member at the elite level or above, the best way by far is definitely doing the highest level. And of course, I'm not saying that because I want your money. Not, not at all. Yeah, you know, definitely not, not my biased opinion or anything. <laughs> but yeah, if you want to help out Brandon's Ballistics, help support the channel, think about it. All right, we're five, we're almost six minutes in. Sorry. Uh, let's get on to the uh, things here. So I already told people how to enter. It's up to you. I already give you a code word. It's up to you if you're going to do it or not. So the first thing, level three. Let's start out. I should have just took that off camera first. Let's go ahead and start out with a small thing. And that was one of these credit card knives. Now, tomorrow's video, you see one of these in plastic. And I can't really show you how it worked. Well, this is how that works for people, you know, for the members only who saw this. That's awesome. You can win one of those also in that one. Uh, there's a little lock right here. You twist it. And that allows the, knock, the knife to come out. You then fold uh, these two things here. You can see how those interlock. So that snaps in place. And you got yourself a nice little blade. Uh, is it sharp? Very. <laughs> so, you know, you can put this in your wallet to where you never have to worry about forgetting your blade or, you know, or being anywhere without the use of a knife, whether it's going to be for self-defense. This would be a poor self-defense tool. I mean, it, it is really flimsy. But as a survival tool or just say you need a knife for random tasks and you don't have your pocket knife on you for whatever reason. You know, I've used my the one I keep on me personally. I've probably used mine 12, 15 times now. So they are very useful. You know, there's times, especially with ADHD like I do, that you'll forget to be able to take certain things if it's not already in your pocket. So it's very nice to have something already in your wallet that guarantees you have a knife. Next. Speaking of a knife, here's a knife. <laughs> so, on top of getting a knife in your wallet, here's a knife to put in your pocket. And this is the Kershaw Endemic. Uh, this is a folder, a liner lock. And uh, let's see here. Uh, it is 8CR13 MOV, stone moss finish. Uh, I don't know a whole lot about, you know, different blade, you know, stuff. I, I, I know it's Chinese alphabet steel. Uh, I've heard a lot of people say, uh, I can't remember if it's 7 or 8. It's 7 or 8 CR13 uh, MOV that is like the lowest that they would, that people said, knife experts said that they would accept for a, a uh, you know, work knife. It could be 7. Uh, then again, 8 could be better than 7. I, like I said, I don't really know a whole lot about the Chinese alphabet steel. Uh, hell, I don't even know a whole lot about the regular steel. <laughs> to be quite honest, um, as I say in my gun reviews, uh, this is an average, you know, it's not a professional giving you these thoughts. It's the average person, you know, what the average person thinks of firearms. And while I do shoot a lot, I do a lot of experience with firearms, I am by no means an expert. Same thing with knives and these items and stuff. You're not getting the opinion of an expert, you're getting the opinion of the everyday guy. So... Yeah, I do like Kershaw. I carried a Kershaw for many years. Uh, I liked him because he's cheap, and you know, if I broke it, you know, if I was abusing it and snipped, snipped, uh, and snapped the tip off because I used it as a screwdriver like an idiot, uh, or chipped the blade or done some kind of damage to it, screw it. You know, I was uh, carrying that twenty. It was a twenty dollar, or no, it was a ten dollar, ten or twelve dollar uh, little black folder. I ended up giving to a friend, but I would go through those you know, every once in a while, and if I break it, misplaced it, lost it, one got stolen, big deal. Uh, this one's a little bit nicer one, admittedly. So, uh, <laughs> you know, it's not one I'd want to lose. So the blade length itself is 3.3 inches or 8.8 .8 centimeters. The, the uh, grip uh, length is 4.6 inches or 11.8 .8 centimeters. And then the overall length is 8 inches or 20.4 centimeters. Uh, that, those measurements are very important depending on what state and country you live in because... You know, maybe you can't carry a knife that is, you know, bigger or smaller than 3.3 .3 inches. Uh, you know, that's the blade length. And then the overall is uh, 8 inches or 20.4 centimeters. Uh, 
you know, maybe that's very important to you, what you need. It doesn't matter. You can carry what you want. <laughs> we, uh, while we're not the best state in the Union, we at least have freedom. <laughs> well, not absolute, because, you know, the federal government crap. Anyway, enough off of that subject. The weight of this is 4.1 ounces, or 117 grams. Uh, this is the endemic 1355X. The opening, this is an assisted speed safe knife. With, uh, the knife features speed safe assisted opening with a flipper. Uh, keep fingers away from the blade as you open the knife uh, and keep fingers away while closing. You have a liner lock. The handle is glass filled nylon. You have a single position pocket clip, so that's not greatest. And then you have that big old lanyard hole. So is it a deep carry at least? Yes. You can kind of see in there that is a deep carry pocket clip. So at least they had that part right. And uh, the only thing I don't like it is uh, tip up, not tip down. So, you know, if it comes open in your pocket, you know, it, I, I, I don't, some people like tip up, some people like tip down. Uh, I guess let me look at my knife. Maybe I do like it. Okay, no, I, uh, so I like it tip down. So yeah, this is tip up when you carry it. Not uh, the biggest fan of that. I like tip down. But it's up to you however you like your tip. Because just a tip is always good enough, right? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. <laughs> this is the tip is never enough. <laughs> All righty. There's your second. Now, this is still third place. Your next item for third place, you get one of these hemp wicks. Uh, just like my last giveaway, I'm giving somebody some pot. Uh, quote unquote, you know, depending on who you believe, this is hemp, not pot. But yeah, it's a great little fire starter. This is not meant as a single use. You don't like, you know, you, know, you don't get the top of it light and throw it in a fire. That's, you know, you want to use little bits of this. They say you can get, I can't remember if it's 50 fires or something like that off the stick. Most people get a lot of fires off a single stick. So, great little thing to put in your swivel kit, even EDC. Like, instead, of, and, and you don't have to carry the whole thing EDC. Just clip off, carry that much of ADC to where if you need tender, you have tender. It's always good to be able to know you can create a fire in any situation. All right, now the last item that is in third place is the Olive Snug Patch got, uh, Stasia G2. That is made in China. Uh, and it's the Snug Pack. You can kind of see it creates you a shelter. Uh, the mentions is 162 by 224 centimeter, uh, or 64 inches by 96 six inches. Uh, the pack size, you know, down when it's packed, is uh, 21 point or 21 times 8 times 10 centimeters, or 8 uh, 8 inches by 3 inches by 4 inches. The weight is 370 grams or 13 ounces. The ridgeline paracord and pegs are not included. Uh, it's not included in the weight or not included in the whole. I feel something hard there. Is that not the pegs? I swear I think the pegs are right here. Maybe it's not. I'm guessing that's not included in the weight. Because I'm pretty darn on sure that this includes the pegs. Uh, let's see, pocket size for the prepared person who doesn't want to get caught out in the elements. So yes, uh, this will fit in cargo shorts, as you can see in that picture. So if you're hiking or whatever and you don't know what the weather's going to be, you can carry this and you always have some shelter to get you out of the weather. Uh, the Snug Pack, the Snug Pack Gashi G2 is a new and improved concept of the original British Basha the very popular Snug Pack all-weather shelter. But the Gotcha G2 is made with newer, lighter materials to achieve an impressive pack size. It can be stashed away in a BDU target pants pocket, a rucksack, go bag, etc. Simply stated, it is an improved, simple, effective shelter that will aid in protection from the elements. Looped web, or I'm sorry, loop webbing and grommets to uh, attach guide ropes. Metal studs, which will allow to be folded and snapped together to make an improv improvised uh, bivy. An impromptu emergency shelter supplied with four guide ropes to allow multiple configurations. So, yeah. This, uh, if you, there's a QR code if you want to learn more about it. Maybe put that up here and you might be able to do something with it. 
So yeah, you get that there, and you also get the instructions with it. So it tells you how to, you know, set it up depending on what you want to do, you know, with it. So all that, Kitty Cat is not included, sadly. Uh, he's not going anywhere. How are you, Bubby? Well, he wants to play. He wants to play. Look at this. He wants to play. <laughs> it's not playtime. But I'm doing videos. Oh, you're throwing things down now. You're throwing things down. You're throwing things down. All right. Wow, once again, make sure you subscribe. Don't break his heart. But that's everything for third place. That is just third place. So we still got to do second and first. <laughs> yeah, my giveaways are pretty nice, if I do say so myself. So that's third place. And yes, I do cover shipping. Uh, anywhere that USPS will ship. All right, third place, uh, we're going to start out with, so I'm going to put this on camera, a five liter dry bag. Uh, I'm not going to take it out of the package, but uh, to go get the uh, idea on this, you can put your pistols or knife or whatever into this, uh, roll the top of it, and it is airtight. You can also make it an impromptu pillow, but yeah, you can tie it, make sure you don't lose air, and it's going to keep your stuff dry if you're in a canoe or if you're hiking and it's going to rain. You put your valuers, your cell phones, and stuff like that into this dry bag, and it's where you are guaranteed that it's going to be waterproof and, you know, not going to get wet. Your second item is the, this mag pouch. So this is the LAZ Tactical MCS Pro 9-40 full-size uh, pistol mag carrier. And this, you can also get 25% off at lagtactical.com. Use code TACPAC2023. Put that on camera. Uh, if you want to buy one of these or anything else on that website, you can get 25% off using code word uh, TAC2023. So this is the modular, uh, modular carry system pro compatible with most 9mm and 40 Smith & Wesson double stack and staggered stack magazines. Adjustable retention using four exterior screws, except rounds forward or backwards. Flared opening for easy holstering. Uh, 1.75 inch belt clips compatible with most belts. Multiple mounting holes, except most, most belts uh, attachment options. Shape allows for multiple MCS carriers to integrate together, maximizing space on the belt. So, yeah, that's, you can kind of see, if you have one of these beside of it, it would go right here. So, yeah, uh, that's pretty nice. I didn't realize that before. So, if you had two of these together, uh, like if I had two of these, I probably would keep this and turn that into something else. So, that's a pretty cool little option. But, yeah, uh, personally, I would want at least two. So, if, you, if you're the lucky person who wins second place and you get this item, you might want to use that little 25% uh, you know, discount code to be able to get yourself a second one. And there's a lot less items in second place, but that's because this is the final item in second place. Once again, this is only second place. Yes, it is open. I th or no, did I? No, I didn't open this one. Good. Thought I did. Making sure. Yeah, because there's some places uh, like Canada. If somebody wants from Canada, I can't ship this to them because it's open. But I'm pretty sure this is not open. I don't think I opened this one. It makes me think I did because that's off of it, but I don't. If I did, I don't see how I did it. Anyway, we've saw one of these before. Sorry for the cut there. Uh, my phone died, so back to this. I'm not really sure yet uh, what it captured, but yes, I mean, uh, this is the last item in second place: the SOG uh, Knife and Tools Fast Hawk Durable Glass Reinforced Nylon Handle includes nylon carry sheath in the back, and it has a lifetime warranty. So yeah, very, very nice, very aggressive little fast hawk, you know, tomahawk. It's a SOG, you know, knives and tools. It is under their tactical brand. Uh, blade length is two inches, uh, weight is 19 ounces, overall length 12.5 inches. Blade steel is 420RC51-53. Uh, Once again, I don't know if that's good or bad. Uh, the handle is glass reinforced nylon, and then the sheath is included. So when you take this in and out, uh, not the fast talk, but another one that I had some experience with. It had a, uh, a more curved edge or something like that, I remember. But I, I remember when I took it out, I actually, I actually cut myself on the sheath. Now, this sheath looks the same. 
I don't know. This looks to be a different sheaf, too, than the other one I had. So this isn't the same one that we previously had. Uh, I don't know what the other one was called. This is slightly different. But yeah. Uh, the handle seems really same. So, you know, the weight. But, yeah. If you want to have a little tactical tomahawk for some tactical tomahawk action, hopefully you get second place. And along with that, you get the mag carrier and the dry bag. So... And I know a lot of people would say, you know, that this should be, you know, second place because that's better and this should be first. But value-wise, which is what I go off of, this is higher value than this. So, for that reason, uh, I mean, that could be a lot more expensive than what I think it is. Uh, but I'm going to stick with it. Now that I'm thinking about it now, I kind of think I should have made this third and made this second. But I'm sticking with it. This is third. This is second. <laughs> uh, I usually do that. I, you know, usually people, you know, anyway. Now let's get in the first place. First place uh, only has three items, but uh, two of them are really nice, and one of them is a merch item. Yes, that is Brandon's Ballistics uh, Emergency uh, Fire Starter, you know, bracelet with compass and whistle. Uh, this has 12 to 15 feet of uh, fire paracord. It has a uh, this has a magnesium bar, but it's a fair it's a ferro rod and striker built in. So yeah, you can actually take that striker out of the uh, of the handle there and strike it on this. You put it up, you know, you clamp it over. It has that whistle in there. It has a compass here attached, and yeah, this is fire cord inside of it. So if you're ever in a situation that you need paracord, great, you have 12 to 15 feet. And then if you're also in a situation that you need some tinder, well, you can take some of the uh, tinder out of the core here and start yourself a fire with some waterproof wax jute tinder. So, yeah, this is the first merch item, and this is completely thanks to Steven Nelson. He is the one at, to, uh, you know, who actually braided this for me. I supplied the handles, but uh, he, he actually won the fire cord in a previous giveaway. And then made this to be able to be given to be given away. So yeah, special thanks to Stephen Nelson. He said if he ends up winning this, then you know it's it just going to go back to uh, somebody else. So yeah, uh, same thing if uh, Marshall King wins this, then it's going to be in the, a future giveaway. Uh, you know, as much as they like it, they're you know, uh, you know as he said, he can just you know, pay Steven to be able to make them a different one. So this being merch item, or, you know, they, they're, they're real good friends. So they're wanting to be able to see this go to somebody that's not real local. But there's your first item. Your second item is a pretty expensive one. This is a, pl a previous plus item. And this is the Smart, Smart Torque Master Grade 1 Inch Pound Torque Driver. So this is very, very great for uh, setting those torque specifications on scope mounts and, you know, other sensitive things uh, on your ARs and other firearms, especially Ruger 1022s, because uh, when you're putting that front screw that, you know, tightens the uh, barrel down to the frame, if you under or under adjust that, under or over adjust it, uh, you can actually throw off your zero. So if every time you cleaned it, you put it back together and you realized your zero's off, that's the reason uh, you didn't put it to the exact same torque. So with this torque uh, setting or any other torque wrench, once uh, you uh, clean it, take it apart, clean it, put it back together, torque it to wherever you want to be torqued it, and then sight it in. Then in the future, every time you put that gun back together, make sure to put it back into the exact same torque settings. That's where it don't throw your zero off. Anyway, uh, this is made by Real Avid. And this, uh, like I said, scope mounting. So one inch equals one inch pound. So it looks like it would go all the way up to 70 inch pounds. So yeah, it's the complete kit. Well, I say complete kit, but yeah, sorry, I'm missing a bit. It's just how it always goes. Uh, it's like if, if I was giving away a driver, uh, a you know, a wrench set or anything, I'd be missing the 10 mil. It, it, it just happens. <laughs> uh, but here is the actual thing itself. So you put it in, you dial your setting up, and then you can you know, torque it to whatever thing you want to torque it to. Very, very nice thing to have if you want any kind of precision. Here's the uh, owner's manual and directions. So that is extremely useful uh, if you have a 1022 or if you have a firearm with scopes. 
this is very indispensable. Now, I have another item, and this one is a very nice uh, you know, pocket knife. This is an American Buffalo Knife and Tool. This is actually the newest American Buffalo Knife and Tool. Uh, it's a collab between Tack Pack and American Buffalo Knife and Tool. Uh, as people know, when I'm not working, when I'm working, I carry the CRKT pillar because I don't care to screw that knife up. But when I'm not working, uh, I carry the American Buffalo Knife, knife and Tool uh, D2 Steel uh, pocket knife. That's it, It's not this version. It's a you know, less fancy version. Fancy looking, I guess that's to say. But whenever I'm wanting to be a little fancy, this is now what I pull out. So yeah, uh, that is just beautiful. It's completely reversible, deep carry clip. Uh, just very, very, very nice. Uh, I can't remember what the, you know, wow, uh, Bella's really wanting out of the bedroom. Yeah, uh, you got a uh, Tanto blade, and this is D2 steel. Uh, so D2, then uh, Amer AB, American Buffalo, uh, 1040B, uh, and then it's made in PRC. So a lot of people in the know that know what PRC means, which is People's Republic of China, that's just another way of saying made in China. And if you don't want to say made in China, they'll say uh, PRC, People's Republic of China. But keep in mind, not everything made in China is bad. This is my favorite budget EDC blade. Keep in mind, there are some nice, you know, like really big knife snobs. Uh, well, heck, even the really big knife snobs, since this is D2 steel, you know, they say it's passable. Of course, those are people that's used to spending, you know, two or $300 on a pocket knife. Uh, me, personally, I'd rather spend two or $300 on a firearm, but, uh, or put that two or $300 towards a more expensive firearm. So, I mean, that's just me personally. When it comes to knives, I don't like going anywhere above $100. Uh, sometimes I'll break that a little bit, maybe go up to 150 if I really, really, really like it. But for the most part, I like budget-friendly, great knives. And this is definitely a budget-friendly, great knife. This has a lot of premium features. D2 Steel used to be an extremely premium thing, and now a lot of more, you know, affordable items now have D2 Steel. Uh, I'm pretty sure these are the uh, nice, real nice nylon uh, washers. Uh, I could be wrong. It could be metal. Uh, but I'm, I'm, it might not be nylon. Uh, I can't remember if nylon was good or not. Once again, I'm not a knife expert. I can't remember. Uh, Doc P is where I got the information from uh, about you know what this was, what these, you know, what washers this thing ran on. But, yeah, it... He's a, uh, I ain't gonna call him a nice snob, but uh, he definitely knows his stuff. He knows what he's talking about. Uh, I, I admire Doc P a lot. He's actually the one who got me into Tac Pack. Uh, not personally, I was watching his videos. But it's like, uh, if I got anybody in a Tac Pack, he's the one who got me in a Tac Pack. <laughs> so anytime that I buy stuff from Tac Pack, I put down that I heard Dr. P. Even to this day, uh, I use his name anytime I order because he's the one who got me into it. So like, anytime I get a biggie bag or whatever, I say, you know, when it, when it says, hey, how'd you hear about us? YouTube uh, review, and then what channels, Doc P. But, yeah, I love this blade. And, you know, people may hate it. You know, people may say it's too gaudy, you know, gold and black, but I think it is sexy. Uh, and now, this is a, a second one. So, oh yeah, uh, if you want to buy one of these, uh, if you go to Tack Pack and get a discount uh, through their website or through their discount or affiliate links or whatever, it's uh, like between fifty and fifty-five dollars. So that is an amazing knife. D two steel, uh, other premium features. A you know completely reversible deep carry clip. <sighs> that is really really nice. So yeah, if, if you don't win one of these, I would consider picking it up. You ain't got to get the golden. You know, there's a bunch of different ones they have out there. I now have the entire collection of it. But yeah, I love it to death. So I put this thing back up, and that concludes everything that is in that giveaway because that is the last item in first place so once again people might say third place should be first i mean that's their own opinion going from value wise uh this is definitely first this might actually be second now because i'm thinking this is more expensive than i thought it was and because uh, this is decently expensive, but both of these are, you know, this is inexpensive. This is not very expensive, you know, either. So, technically, this should be third. 
So, but I've already made the video. I already said it's second. So, <laughs> I guess the higher value is going to be third. Then it's going to go to a lower value in second, and then goes back to a high value at first. <laughs> yeah, I should have planned that out a little better, but uh, whoops. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure I did the uh, code word, and if I didn't, uh, I'm going to say it's Buffalo now. But I'm pretty sure I did. So if I if you don't see this part, then that means I did a code word. But yeah, make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. Make sure, if you want to be entered in this giveaway, make sure to listen carefully. You want to put six code words for this month. You know, uh, for everywhere from the first of this month and all the way up until uh, Saturday, cause, uh, or actually until Friday. Friday's going to be the last video uh, for Sunday when I do the live stream to be able to announce the winners. I do it via live stream, via a random number generator. So it's completely fair. And, yeah, because I don't pick it myself. A random number generator picks it. And I do it straight on camera so they can see, you know, it's not like I'm hiding it. So they can see exactly what's coming up. But, so, from the first of the month all the way until this Friday, which will be the last video. And, you know, you can use any of those code words there. You cannot use an old code word. It has to be a code word from this month. It has to be six of them. They have to be spelled correctly. Uh, and then you also have to... Like every video that I did for this month. You have to share every video that I did for this month. You know, Facebook, Instagram, or you know, whatever. Uh, whatever social media site. And then if you don't have social media site, it's, uh, really, I would rather you do it on social media. But you know, for older folks, so, you know, there's, there's some older people that you know, follow my channel and they don't do social media. So they share you know, via text. So yeah, I, 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 you know, I, I, I make an exception. They're still liking, they're still commenting. Oh, that's the other thing. Make sure to comment uh, on every single video for this month. I do check every single video for this month. So after I see everybody who's entered, I go through all the videos. And if you forgot to comment, forgot to like, forgot to share, forgot to subscribe, uh, if you forgot any of the code words, uh, any, if you didn't put all six, you know, code words, not all six, but any of the six code words in there, if you spelled them wrong, if you did anything wrong then since everybody else done it correctly, you'll be disqualified. Now, if you want to be automatically entered, once again, go to Utreon, go to, uh, you know, to membership on Utreon, go to membership on YouTube. Uh, you can, you know, uh, go to the highest level. Uh, you know, it's $25 on Utreon on YouTube. Uh, you can also do it via PayPal or Facebook Pay or, you know, anything, you know, snail mail. I don't need to put it into a little paper plane and fly it to me. I don't care. <laughs> and that will get you entered. Uh, like Michael Stan, he entered uh, via uh, cash. So uh, he did it through uh, uh, Facebook, Facebook pay. Now, uh, Chris Armstrong, he did it through uh, cash. Uh, Brian Elkins did it through cash. Uh, Steven Nelson uh, does it because he edits a lot of my videos and he won't accept payment. So the only way I can get him to take anything for it is make him a uh, late member, <laughs> or uh, I'm sorry, a premium member. Uh, Zach Taylor pays, Kevin Purvis pays. Of course, Kevin is a uh, elite, not premium. So he still has to do five code words to, uh, and then like, comment, subscribe on, on all the videos for that month on that additional giveaway for him to be eligible for it. So yes, once again, Kevin, another reminder, you got to do code, you know, six code words for this one since you're elite, you're not premium. You still got to do the like, comment, share, subscribe. Six code words in this video. And then in tomorrow's video, you need to do five code words that can be different they can be the same i really use different ones but they can be the same but five code words onto the comment section of that video to get entered into the members only once again you're elite not premium so you still have to do the like comment subscribe and the uh you know code words but yeah that's, that's another reminder uh, get, yeah i just want to make sure that you get into it anyway that's all i got for you today so yeah thank y'all for stopping by i wish everybody luck in the winning what they want to win and uh yeah, uh, I guess I'll see you next time. Peace. Get my hands are dirty. <laughs> Got off work. Leave me alone. <laughs> now I'm going to bed after I shower.